Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. Today's ride objective is very simple and that's to ride up Speltham Hill. As you can see, today I'm riding my e-mountain bike and that's because Speltham Hill is an absolute killer. It's 16%, very twisty, very turny and very difficult. And if I can't make it up on this, then I won't be able to make it up on a regular road bike. So today is a bit of an experiment. riding up Edney's Lane at the moment and I'm still on Leonardo Power not using the motor and it's certainly a lot harder than when I'm on my road bike I just want to see how far I can get without using the motor uh, if nothing else it'll be all good training So that's Edney's Lane done and I didn't use the motor once so I'm really pleased with that but that could have something to do with the absolutely monumental wind pushing me up there although um, I could be mistaken for thinking that it was somebody parked at the bottom in a jumbo jet with it revving on full power although I'd probably notice that. From here we do the ups and downs to the bat and ball and I'm going to try and stay off the motor as much as I can uh, and then once we get to the bat and ball uh, it will be pretty much downhill all the way to Hambledon and then once we get there I'll make that infamous left hand turn and start climbing up Speltham Hill. Still just chugging away on this up and down road to the bat and ball and I haven't used the motor once it's surprisingly easy to pedal not sure what's going on but maybe it's just position on this bike into a full-on headwind real hard going my word that was tough that wind is really really strong I'm almost looking forward to the climb up the hill which will be in a couple of hundred meters so I better start the uh, or turn the power on the bike on okay so far so good um, I'm in gear three I'm not even in my lowest gear so level one on the motor Okay, let's just change down to my lowest gear. Okay, that's the first bend.
11% So far so good Good level 2 on the motor Thirteen percent. Never ends. I thought that was the end there. 15%. When there's the top. Well, that's Speltham Hill. And that's only the third time I've ever ridden up there. Obviously, today was on a, an e-bike and it wasn't too bad actually. It was nowhere near as difficult as I thought it was going to be. I only used level two. I thought I'd have to go to at least level four, but um, I'm very pleasantly surprised. It's kind of inspired me to try it on my regular road bike now. Afternoon. <laughs> Back on Leonardo Power now, as it's a very pleasant little ride home, mainly downhill, although this wind is definitely making things a lot harder than it needs to be, really. Uh, the last time I actually went up uh, Speltham Hill on my road bike was back in 2015 and I got to that uh, tight corner near the top there and there was a tractor coming down the other way and it had some kind of hay baler or something on the front with basically great big spikes on it and as you can see there's quite a tight little road and this, uh, this tractor took up the whole width and I had no choice but to get off the bike stand on the verge so I didn't officially make it all the way up but I would have done had the tractor not been there but today was just a breeze with the motor thank you it's actually got me wondering if I could go up Speltham Hill with such relative ease with this e-bike what other climbs can I do on here I've got one particular climb in mind that is an absolute beast and in all my 50 years of cycling I've never once managed to get to the top of it without getting off and walking and that's even when I was at the height of my fitness when I was racing so yeah there's an interesting prospect there Okay, it's the Bicycle Diaries Supplemental. I'm out on the next day, and as you've probably seen, I'm on my Cannondale, and I'm in Hambledon, and I'm going to see if I can climb up Speltham Hill on my plain, regular road bike without a motor. I'm under no illusions. It's not gonna be anywhere near as easy as it was yesterday. And that's why I'm on my Cannondale, because it's got slightly lower gears than my Trek. Wish me luck.
made it. Well, that was tough, but I have to admit, it wasn't anywhere near as tough as I thought it was going to be. I knew once I could get around that last steep bit, I could make it to the top. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Massive mental barrier broken. Speltham Hill on a road bike. First time in six years. I've only ridden my mountain bike twice since I've had it. And that was yesterday and then a couple of days before that. And uh, it's quite a heavy bike. And now I've swapped back over to my Cannondale. I can really feel a difference. This just feels so much lighter and so much easier to pedal. Obviously, the mountain bike's got the advantage of the motor, so it's just chalk and cheese, really. Different strokes for different folks, I suppose. Ride the mountain bike for fun, and then ride this when I want to start sort of getting some good times and maybe trying to beat some of my own PRs and doing some challenges like that going up Speltham Hill. Just, uh, yeah using the right bike at the right time. Basically, these were two very different rides. On Monday, of course, I had the e-bike and the motor, and that was giving me a considerable amount of assistance. But what it did was just give me an idea of what I was up against. And then, of course, on Tuesday, I went back and I took on the might of Speltham Hill, under full Leonardo power and it was quite an achievement to get to the top. Thanks for watching.